subscribe to mystic studio productions and press the bell icon to get notified whenever you upload a video at this particular moment you might be having coffee with your friends or you might be watching a movie with a girlfriend but do you know with every single minute how many childs are being born on this earth and for every single minute how many people are being dead the UNICEF data estimates that in average about 250 childs are being born in a single minute and about 105 people are being dead every single minute if you count that in seconds at this moment I'm talking and with every seconds passing by about four childs are being born and about two people are being dead it's a wonder that how life enters this earth and how this life exits the earth after death this mystical realm has been untouched by most of the people and it's very interesting to know from the aspect of the life force that how really that the energy works how it enters into a human body and how it leaves the human body to know it in this video stay tuned i'm shomik and you're watching mystic studio productions by mystic journey begins life exists in this earth due to the presence of life force it is the life force which determines how the mental body will be and it is the mental body which determines how our physical body will be so essentially it is the life force which determines how life will be there on this earth and all over the universe the nature of the life force in your body is different than in my body again its nature is different in some other animals like a dog or a cow or a bird but essentially it is the life force due to which we are existing at this particular moment now this life force how does it act this life force can be considered to an energy ball this energy ball is always expanding and contracting now it has a particular frequency at this particular moment you are having this human body or i am having this human body or some of the animal is having their animal body due to that particular life force it is that particular frequency of the life force which determines that it will either be animal or it will be human or it will be a bird so that frequency varies and it is that this frequency which determines the nature of the life now as the life force moves upwards what occurs is that the depth of this expansion and contraction of the life force the depth increases the depth increases but the rate is less and if the life force moves downwards then the depth decreases but the rate increases so in a normal adult person we can examine this by seeing the heart rate a normal adult has a heart rate of 75 per minute but if you see that in case of a baby the average heart rate is about 110 per minute so it's very rapid and the depth is also less that is the extent to which the inspire and the extent to which the expire that extent is less and also the heart rate is very fast similarly when when a people is dying or when a people is ill then also you will see that the heart rate will increase in any case of in any case of disease uh, even uh, the normal fever common fevers during that time the heart rate increases it is the heart rate is determined by the nature of the life force i have already said that is the life force which determines how the mental body will be and the mental body in turn will decide how our physical body will be our heart is a physical body and heart is pumping but is the life force which is making the heart to pump you know in medicine um we know that the heart has ac and av nodes the which are, these nodes are essential for the auto rhythmicity of the heart that is heart pumps on its own but the science has progressed pretty less we know how it functions through the 
um, changing the uh, action potentials and through the autorhythmic tissues present within the heart. But how does that thing occur? If we go deeply, there is no answer. But essentially, it is due to the life force that those particular action potentials are acting. Any life on this earth can be compared to a sinusoidal wave. By sinusoidal wave, I mean this. You can see in this graph that the wave, once it rises to the peak, and then it again falls. So it is this wave which has a peak and a fall, peak and a fall. So the nature of the life force, the frequency increases, again decreases, again increases, again decreases. So it's never stationary. So if you see a human life or even an animal life carefully, any life on this earth, we will see that there are various phases. When a child is being born, it is very vulnerable. It can't do any, any work out of its own. It needs its parents. It's because the nature of the life force is still very low, but it is in an increasing phase. That is, gradually the child is growing up. So, from the childhood to the adult, the life force is in the increasing phase. So when that particular being is adult, it reaches to the peak, and then again the life force starts decreasing. That's why men grow older. We have a saying that the older, older peoples, older peoples and the child, they are similar because both of them are dependent on other persons because the life force in them is too low or they, they have too less energy to take care of their own. But in a child, that particular frequency is gradually increasing. But in an older person, that is gradually decreasing. So the old belongs to the negative slope, while the young child belongs to the positive slope. Again, when, the, when this particular frequency decreases, decreases, and it decreases to so much extent that it cannot hold this human body, then death occurs. And after that, it goes on decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. And then again, after going to that bottommost, the negative crest, it again rises. And when it again, after gradually increasing, it attains the particular frequency, which matches with the human baby, then it enters the womb. How it enters the womb, it's very complicated and I'm not going to discuss this in this video because it will make it very long. But when that particular frequency matches, then that particular life is again reborn as human being. But it also depends that after decreasing, whether that particular life force will be born as a human or as an other elements. It will depend upon the nature. It is not necessary that after death, that particular life force, which had been a human earlier, will again be a human or a particular animal will again be an animal. That, that will depend, again, on the overall aspect of the life force. It is, it is very difficult to understand at this particular moment. We will be discussing that gradually. But I think I've, uh, I've been able to make understanding the nature of the life force. It's sinusoidal. So the nature of the life force increases, then again decreases. So like this, the, the life force acts. And this is how human beings are born or any animals are being born and they are being dead. Again during birth, the nature of the life force, in the nature of the life force has a creative energy. That's why that particular energy is creating a human body. If you see carefully, then this, this human body is essentially made of, of this earth, the food in the mother's womb. Embryologically, if you see, the body is formed from where? From the placenta. From the placenta, the baby or the fetus derives the nutrition from the placental blood vessels. So it is actually the life force which is transforming the nutrients into this human body. So essentially, it is a life force. And gradually with this life force, after the baby is being born, then it does not need the help of the mother. And it takes food of its own. And that particular life force increases this body. So as the life force moves upwards or the life force grows, 
the external body also grows. Again, when the life force falls, then also this body falls. So this is how the birth and death occurs. By knowing this aspect of the life force, we'll also know by seeing a people that whether he is getting diseased or not. Again, when a people is dead or going to die, then the life force decreases and also the nature of the life force is destructive. That is, the energy is destructive in nature. That's why it gets destroyed. So when during birth, the life force is creating something. So it might be of a low frequency, but still it is creative in nature. And when during death, it is also low, but it is destructive in nature. And it is a, as it has a negative slope, and the baby has a positive slope because it is gradually increasing, and the older person is gradually decreasing. But in an adult phase, or when we are living in this earth, then the nature of the life force is maintained. So creation, maintenance, and destruction. This cycle goes on. After destruction, then again the creation sets in, which we have already discussed in our previous video. To understand this uh, more or more deeply, uh, you can check out our videos on life force. Um, I have given the link here. Uh, you can see the life force, and also you can uh, see the video of the three energies. Uh, you can check uh, check our YouTube uh, YouTube uh, video. Uh, subscribe it. Uh, our link of the YouTube video is given here, and uh, also like our Facebook page. So we will be discussing about such interesting topics in our upcoming videos. So keep watching Mystic Studio Productions. Do like, share, and subscribe it with the friends and family. Till then, take care. Bye.